Hi, I'm Mira. Welcome to Fluid Mira. It's glute focus mat class, aka booty blaster. So come on, let's meet me. Find our standing position. Feet are parallel. I like you to now, if you need to, you can hold it onto a chair or the wall. Lift your right leg up and hug your leg to you for pants. Just compressing the hips strong on your left standing leg. Lifting up tall, compress and drop it. At the side, anchor your right leg down, lift the left leg up, compress. Again, you can stand holding onto a chair or a wall if you need to support your balance and drop it down. Now we're gonna do some hip circle here. So lift your right leg up again. You can have your hands on your hip or holding on to uh, something. Now lifting up and rotate. So lifting the knee, rotate to the side and slightly back. The idea here is to warm up our hip joint before we let them work. So round, two more, one more, then reverse, go back, side and forward. Oh, balancing, nice and stable, holding on to something if you need to. And two more. Last and down. Okay, at the side, anchor your right leg firmly down to the floor. Lift the leg straight, bring the left leg up and around. Circling in the hip joint. You can also use your hand if you want to, to assist your movement in the hip joint. The other way around, turn around. Use your hand if you need to, your arm. Hold on to something if you like. One more time and let it go. Shake it out a little bit. Okay, now let's have your feet in V position. Heels together. Your toes are slightly apart, around about a fist in between them. Extend the rotate from the hip joint, hands on your hip. Lifting the heels up. Kiss the heels together at all times. Spine is nice and straight. We'll do some footwork here. Balance. Inhale. Again, you can hold on to a chair or the wall. And up. Inhale as you go down, but keep the spine rather tall. Exhale. Lift. In. Exhale. In. Exhale. Make sure the thighs goes over your feet as you go down. And. Exhale. Two more. Exhale, last one. Exhale, we go down for little pulses. So we go, shh, shh, inhale. Then go down, down, exhale. Out, shh, shh, inhale, down, down, exhale, shh, shh, inhale. And shh, shh, heel stays up. And shh, shh. Three more, shh, shh. Two more sets. Last it. Shh, shh. Extend, straighten. Shh. Come on down. Excellent. Open your heels wider than your pelvis. Still externally rotate at the hip joint here. We inhale, we go down. Back is straight. Exhale, lift. Inhale, we go down. Straight back. And lift. In breath. Lift from the pelvis. Go up to your upper abdominal. And Exhale, and exhale. As you strengthen the leg, think about squeezing your glutes at the end range. And squeezing at the final range. Exhale, and exhale, and three more, two more. Last one. Now go down a little pulses, but this time lift your right heel up. We go for five. Inhale. Four. Three. Two. Last. And go the heel, stay down, other heel up. We go. Inhale. Two. Can we go low? Three, four, 
last hold both heels up straighten up all the way all right we can bring them a little closer now we go down heel stays up and and up now center resist yourself from slouching as you go down pull up the abdominal lengthen the spinal column open across the front of the chest and allow your head to float away like a helium balloon here and two more last one little pulses we go down and heel stays up two three hold the center four last one five and straighten and lower well done rock your feet in and shake it up okay it's time to go on the mat so lie on your back please go to the side and lie on our back okay have your feet in parallel position legs in parallel knees pointing up we'll move on with our pelvic curl arms long and breathe out Imprint the lower spine down before using the abdomen. Now firmly press the feet down as you articulate. Peel the spine off the floor. Shoulders anchor to the floor. Reach in the thigh over towards the knees and your feet. Bow as nice and high. Can we lift a little higher? Yes, we can. Exhale. We roll it down. Roll it down. Neck is long. And this back the floor again exhale abdominal to imprint the lower spine press the feet use the hamstring to continue rolling the spine off press the arms lift the pelvis a little bit more press the big toe use the inner thighs here and exhale we roll back 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 release back to the floor two more times exhale roll up Printing and peeling, printing and peeling. That is what I'm thinking here. Press the feet firmly to the floor. Press the arms firmly down. Lift the pelvis a notch higher. In breath. Exhale, softening through the chest. Little back. Lower spine. And pelvis. Let's go one more time. Exhale, peel off. Keep the abdominal working here. I'm not pushing with my lower spine up. I'm allowing my hamstring, my glute, to help my pelvis to come up higher, but not by pushing my lower back up to the sky. In fact, my abdominal is drawing my lower back down towards the floor. And exhale, roll down. Roll down. Okay. Now we'll keep that neutral spine. Press the feet, float the pelvis just about a fist away from the floor and the spine is long here. Now keep the pelvis stable, lift the right foot closer to me, stretch the knee. Keep the leg long and we we'll stay hovering here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee, place the foot down, stay up. Just readjust the pelvis. Keep it still. A fist away off the floor, extend the other leg. And for 10, nine, the spine is still long. Eight, seven, six, pull up the abdominal. It will help you to support the lower back. Five, four, three, two, one. Foot comes down. Hold the pelvis up still. We adjust the position and then we we'll lower back down. Brilliant. All right, now lift the leg closer to me. Extend it again here. We lower the leg down as you breathe up. But I want you to really pull the abdominal into your spine. Flex up down 
Inhale. Imagine you're painting number one with your foot as you go up and down. Good. Inhale, flex from the hip. Exhale, but the belly is sinking towards the floor as you lower the leg down. And we do not want the weight of the leg to arch your spine off the floor. But you want to use the abdominal muscle to contain the lower spine from arching even more than your natural curve. And two more. Last one. Bring it up. Bend the knee. Take it down. Extend the other leg away without moving, hopefully. Hopefully without moving the pelvis. We go down. Reach. Then we go in. Flex. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Last one. Up. Point. Then take it down. Bring the legs together. Open your arms up to a T position. Palms facing up here. Spine twist the front, but we're going to do with the feet on the floor. Rotate the spine. Leg over towards me as we inhale. Stick the legs together. Exhale. Come back. To center. Inhale over to, towards you. Anchor the shoulder down, exhale. So keep a watch that your knees stay side by side there, or at all time. Exhale. Inhale to you. Exhale. One more side. Inhale to me. Exhale. Last one to you. Exhale. Come back. Now rotate towards me here. Now anchor the shoulder down, extend the top leg, and bend, exhale, and bend, exhale, as you exhale, again drawing the abdominal muscle in as and tight, last one, and return back to center, over to the other side, knee stays together, make sure you do not over twist, and reach. That any start to move away from each other. Back together, let's fight side by side. And lower. And two more. Last one. Come back. Return yourself back to the center. Walk your feet a little bit further away from your pelvis here. Bring your hands overhead, ready for our warm up here. We inhale to lift the hands and chest up here. We don't really sink that up on the floor. If you need help, you may grab the back of your thumb. Exhale, peel up off the floor. Go into that seeker. Pull your abdominal back as you lengthen the spine up and over the pelvis. Then rolling down, curling the sacrum, lower back, and arms overhead. Inhale, lifting. Exhale. Now, if you're able to do this with the straight legs, you are absolutely welcome to do so. You roll back, get the sacrum to the floor, roll back on the floor, and arms over the head. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, you up. Inhale, stay. Exhale. Now, as you roll back, think about dragging your feet with you so that you can activate the back of your legs. That will help you to activate your abdominal deeper. Last one here. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, over. And here, lift the spine up. Bring the hands behind you. Walk your feet a little closer towards your pelvis for our modified back support. Here's our feet. A slightly apart, hip width distance apart. Chest is nice and open, press up, lift. Inhale, send the pelvis down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, press up, opening in front of the pelvis, and down. Two more. Press up, and down. 
Last one will stay up. Press up. We step. Lift the heels up. Lift the pelvis high. Lower the heel. Pelvis stay high. Lift the heels up. Lower. And lift. Lower. So your pelvis does not even drop an inch or even a millimeter down. Lift. Three more. Push your hands away off the floor. Two. One. Lower the heels. Lower the hip joint. Okay. Have your hands a little bit wide of you. You can have your fingers pointing out. Have your feet as wide as your mat. Drop the legs towards the knee. Turn your head opposite direction for your hip rolls. Center. And turn. And center. And center. And drop and twist. And drop and twist. One which side. Last one. Come back. Alright, now let's go to our body pad position. Our tabletop. Align your hands and the shoulder. Align the knee and the center of your broad shoulder, long spine. Now let's go ahead and lift your left leg first. We're going to lift the left foot off the floor and lift the thigh up for our hip extension with the bent knee. Taking care that you do not drop the pelvis as we lift the hip up. The leg up. The hip stays up. We lower. And then lift from the hip joint and lower. And three. Strong to the arm and the chest. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Three more. Make it ten. Nine. Last ten. Now we'll go to the side. Out. Two, stay your pelvis. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold on ten. Now this time, bring the knee onto the outside of the right knee. Cross. Bring it up to the side. And two. So we're going over a rainbow here. And three. Let's just call it rainbow in the shoulder. And four. That makes sense. I didn't have to make here. I had that hip abduction, hip adduction, kind of more anatomy name, which is a little bit tough to remember. And it's not so fun to remember either. So let's do it rainbow knee. Call this rainbow knee. And two more across. And last one across. And back. And come back to center. Now, same thing left leg extend behind you. Right arm extend forward. Strong core here. Lift the leg, lift the arm. Little passes with the leg. Up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down and bring it in. All right, we've got the other side. I'm going to turn myself for the sake of the camera. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. You don't have to turn, but you can if you want to. All right, let's go. Lift the right foot up. And my assistant's falling asleep. And two. And three. And four. Stay your pelvis. And five. Six. Four more. Three. Two. One. We go to the side here. Knee up. Two. Three. Four, five, six, almost there, 
seven, eight, nine. Now we've got the rainbow knee. Hold over to the outside of the left knee, over to the side. On two, and definitely a lot more challenging with your abdominal by crossing the leg outward and inward. And five, put your leg. And six, and out, and seven, and out, eight, out, nine, last one, ten, out, and bring it down. All right, stand the right leg behind you. Left arm comes forward, lift and balance. Right little pulses with the right leg up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And lower them down. Brilliant. Sit the pelvis back just for a quick moment. Stretch your back and come back up. Face me, please, to your mermaid position. Okay, try to ground both sitting bone down to the floor. Hands in a crease of your hip, jump here. Now, like you to lift the hip up, press it back down. Try to get it sitting down and lift up, press it, anchor down and lift. And so, we're just working on the rotation of the hip joint. Going up and over forward and sitting down. And last one here and sitting down. Arms open to the side here. Tall, lean diagonally, head resting. Keep the spine long. We're going to pivot with the bottom shoulder and rotate in the hip joint, bringing that spine and the chest facing forward and place your hand down here. So your spine stays nice and long, your abdominals nice and lifted. Now we're going to work the back leg here. We lift and down, lift, we lift all the leg up, Ash, not just the knee, not just the foot, the whole leg. Ash, four, five, six, four more, seven, eight, spine stays straight, nine, Last 10, okay, take the arm out, rotate back facing me, coming up, and just a quick side stretch, oh, that feels good, bring it up, and switch the leg. All right, we start with mobilizing the hip joint here, we sit down, we push forward, we rotate back, and down, rotate forward. So external rotation, as you go forward, it's called internal rotation. Sit down, you may have one hip that's a little stickier than the other. Just try to get more movement as much as you feel comfortable. Whenever you feel pain or too much pain, pull back. You're going to one. Down and forward. Two more. Down and forward. Last one, and forward, we go down again, we take the arms up to the side here, we lean our body nice and long, place the bottom hand down, pivot in the bottom shoulder and the hip joint. Rotate facing the side, then place your hand down, keeping the spine long here, then we're gonna move this leg up. Lift, two, tall in the spine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last ten, arm out, body open, coming back, top arm up, side, Stretch. 
Good. All right. Let's go to our front here on our belly. Base one. So bring the arm, elbows bent to side of your shoulder here. Forehead is just floating off the floor. Anchor your legs down, reaching the sitting bone down towards your feet. Glide the shoulder blades down. Pick up the belly as you exhale. Inhale to lift the upper back. Exhale to come down. Inhale, lift the upper back. Send your pelvis down towards your feet. Neck is long. Exhale, arm knot in the center. Just myself here. And inhale, reach up. Exhale, last one here. Make sure you really glide the shoulder blades down so you can activate your knee for pieces muscle, your mid back muscle, mid back extensors. All right, now here, as you come up, push the right leg up too. Top. And lower down. And then lift the left leg up as you come up. And down. And lift the right leg up. And down. And lift the left leg up. And down. Let's do one more side. Right leg up. And last one, left leg up. And come down. Bring your hands, your arms stacked in front of you here, underneath the forehead. And then just go ahead and hover, float your head on top above your hands there. Now, legs together. We're going to do some leg beads here. Now, I want you to skip leg in the spine, reach both legs off the floor. The lower spine needs to be long, which means that your abdominal has to be lifted off the floor. Open the legs and we're going to beat them. On the exhale. Now here, as you beat, and you lift the leg higher and lower. So about five beats as you go up and five beats as you go down. And up, 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 and down, down, down. Let's do what? Let's do inhale as you feet up. Exhale as you go down. Inhale as you feet up. Exhale, straight legs down. Two more sets. Inhale, feet, 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 feet up. Exhale. Last set. Up, 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 up. Exhale. And release. Down, brilliant. Okay, forearm to the side of the shoulder. Push the floor away, round the back. Sit the pelvis down to your heels. Rest position. Roll up the spine. We're going to finish the class with some stretching. So let's go ahead and sit. Bring your left leg, sorry, the right leg underneath. And your left on top of the right. So have the heels stacked up with the knee here. Sit the pelvis down, press your left hand gently on top of the left knee, lean your body forward, the spine is long, and allow the body weight to fall onto your thigh. We're just stretching the left glute here, in breath. Stay long and tall, refrain yourself from rounding the back. And Every time you exhale, perhaps you can go a little bit deeper in the stretch. Inhale, go tall. Exhale, go deeper. From the hip joint, not by rounding the back. So we bring our pelvis forward, setting your pelvis out and back. And coming up here, now press your left hand onto your thigh, right hand behind you, lean back, push down. Lean our body back and stay there. Just opening the hip joint. In breath. Exhale. One more. That feels good. Really opens up the hip joint. And let's switch. Got my left leg underneath, my right leg on top. Heel and knee aligned. Body reaches forward. Pelvis tipping forward. In breath. 
exhale and sometimes I just use a bit of my arm to help me initiate more grounding direction in my pelvis you can do the same too and I use a bit of arm force to help you ground a little bit more and deepen into your stretch one more breath You lean back, back straight, push down, reach up, and breathe. One more. And let it go. Wow. All right, my friend, that's all we have for today. You are amazing. You can give your bottom a little hammer at the moment. Mine's feeling a little bit like this. Well done for flying through the class with me. Again, excellent, excellent. Keep yourself mobile. Keep yourself hydrated throughout the whole day. All right, and just make sure, you know, whenever you have to sit down for too long, just give yourself a little bit of break. Half an hour, one hour, get up, walk around, and then go back to work if you need to. All right, so I'll see you back on the mat tomorrow. Take care. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos Focus on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and turn on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.